this week I don't have to apologize. Hey, yeah, so do you want to regale the audience with how we chose this one? The uh, the the gamesmanship that you figured uh, out? We watched Spellcaster, and it was chosen out of a hat via the rock, scissors, paper. Right, yes. so I played Sean... And I won with trusty old rock. And you did win. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and and well, and I well, made a we joke. we all won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made a joke. I said, you know, well, you know, because like if it's a terrible movie, then I really lost because it's going to be my fault that we watched this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but turns out I won. And like you said, Sean, we all won. We, yeah. We, it's a game that we all win or lose together. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. You know, like it feels like, uh, honestly, it feels like uh, this movie was like a reward for what we've had to suffer through recently. Sure. Um, you know, I mean, you know, Santa with Muscles wasn't awful. It definitely wasn't. But um, I feel like we're doing this show to get to movies like Voyage of the Rock Aliens yeah. and like Spellcaster. You right. know, Absolutely. And, and I, I got to say, because I, I didn't mention this earlier when I was driving here from work, uh, I just I was like, I feel good about tonight. Yeah. Like, like I, 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 did, I realized we didn't, we, none of us knew you right. know, what the movie yeah, yeah, was going to be. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this one's going to be good. This right. one's going to be solid. I didn't expect it to be fucking brilliant. Yeah, it was so good. This is great. Yeah, great movie. Yeah, Absolutely. Really fun. So, yeah, we had, and so. we, you know, we hadn't, none of us had seen this one. No. Had no. you heard I, of I this broke, movie? I broke the seal just today, just to put them in those envelopes. Uh, the way that I found this was... Oh gosh, now I'm kind of digging back to when we were talking about Adam. What, what were we talking about Adam was, Ant about? It was Dead Men Don't Die. The director, whom I forget his name, only oh, directed right. one other movie, which was... Yes. And so as I was looking for that movie, because that's when I said, oh, I got to write this down. Right. I wrote down the name of the movie. Uh, it's, it's very, 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 very hard to find. Uh, there's not even like a YouTube rip of it or anything. And as I was trying to find that, Spellcaster came up, and it was available. It's uh, you can buy it on Amazon, and that's yeah. what I did. So it's been sitting around for several weeks now. And I said, well, let's just kind of throw it in the pot and see yeah. if someone grabs it. And you know, it was a luck of the draw. Have we uh, totally? Sorry that I'm using my phone, but I was just trying to see if there is a way to stream this. Oh, yeah. Or it's a good question. I uh, I don't know. I looked on my Amazon app, and it's like, you know, not available through Spe this app. Spellcaster so. is on Amazon Prime. Oh, that's fantastic. For free? Yes. That's go, excellent. Go watch it. Watch Spellcaster watch immediately. Watch Spellcaster. Yeah. Well, with a Prime account, though. Don't you have to have a Prime account? Well. To watch yeah, Amazon Prime? Spend the money. Yeah. Who doesn't have Prime and, anymore? And, yeah. Well, because Joshua shipping. said for free. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, for free yeah. on Amazon right. you Prime You don't have video. to pay additional to yeah. the Amazon Prime subscription fee to watch right. Spellcaster. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm really glad that this movie is available for people to see. Because um, so, you know, we should talk about this as a Empire um, yes. International Empire Pictures, Pictures, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Charles Band. Charles Band, um, which I will say I'm not as familiar. Uh, I, the Charles Bands I've seen, I've loved. I love, you know, Trancers, uh, absolutely Arena. Arena is like one of my oh, I love favorite, yep. you know, mm -hmm. just Solid. like totally, you know, B movies that's way better than it has any right to be. Right. He's not going to get away with this. Fight is between me and Rogo. <laughs> you can win this fight. Oh. He won't beat. Now we kill him. Arena. Um, and, uh, but you know, there's a lot of those that I have not seen. Um, but yeah, this troll. is, yeah. Oh yeah. Troll's troll. great. Absolutely. I've definitely seen troll. Um, but yeah, this is just one of those gems I'd say from minute one, you know, this, this movie really started to kill from it. Second one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this movie starts out amazingly and it doesn't really, it doesn't really let, let go yeah. of that. And we'll get to, it. I think yeah. the, the ending 
you know was a little yeah. mushy um you know just like a little d- didn't quite stick the landing necessarily but it wasn't so offensively bad as to discount all the amazingness to happen before it right <laughs> you right. know it didn't uh, crash were, and burn there were constant surprises yeah yeah. There were things that I, I definitely called out and happened and was hoping to happen and did happen right. in a most glorious way, but then there were other things I did not expect, and that was part of the fun of, because it's, I didn't even think it was like a slow burn, even though uh-huh. it's these people who are in a castle, Sure, they have won this contest through, uh, what is it, rock radio? Rock, vi- rock, rock video, video, VJ type thing, like an MTV type sure. thing. Uh, with what's his face from um, Richard Blade? Richard, Richard Blade. Richard Blade, mostly from when I recognize him from um, Girls <laughs> Just Want to Have Fun. Uh, you know the the the, the consummate uh, the, uh, stereotypical VJ type person. Well, yeah, I that think was he's still his job. Stuff. That's what I he's mean, still doing so, even yeah. today. I think yeah, he's, he's like on Sirius, isn't he? I think he he's on Eighties on Eight on yeah on Sirius. XFM, so, um, yeah, yeah, Sirius. Uh, he curates a lot of collections to you know like cd collections of yeah. throwback songs and and he just, like new wave and stuff right? yeah, yeah yeah mainly known for for new wave but i mean he molded right into this i mean he's i think he's a great actor yeah I mean, he was he a totally exactly good actor yeah. absolutely uh, and, and and i i didn't really feel like there was anybody in this film I'm like, yeah, they're not a good actor. They're stuck in this movie, and they're and it's just like t- dragging the whole thing down. Like nobody really. I didn't right. really feel that. And you know, talking about the pacing, uh, you know, this movie's a hundred and or sorry, one hour and twenty three minutes long, mm-hmm. and it's something that we consistently talk about mm-hmm. on this show. It's like if you just cut the fat, you know, get rid. Of, you don't need those meandering scenes that are boring. There's really nothing that I can think of in this film that is needless time and that, wasting. And that's what I was getting at. Even though they're walking through this castle or they're trying to see where that sound came from or whatever, it didn't. It didn't feel like there was an excess yeah. of just like time killing. Uh, you know, footage. Right, right. Uh, because of those surprising moments, because of those moments that I really wanted to happen that actually happened, I could not wait to see what was going to happen next. And right. they didn't waste their time. Yeah. Fun dialogue. Yeah. So even the talky scenes are enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I thought there was actually some quite good dialogue in this, you know, there, and it was delivered well, um, you know, just even little lines like, you know, oh, I know what you've got on your mind and just like, you know, just things that, that seemed a little classier than you would think would come from, a, you know, kind of a low budget B-ish movie right. like this. Um, and that actually want to end up, you know, it's time for me to pull out my phone. Cause I, I do want to give this guy a shout out. Cause it was at that moment when I was listening to some of this dialogue and I was like, this is, you know, honestly it's written better uh, than I would expect it to be written for a movie like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there are a couple of screenwriters here. Um, but one of them is uh, Dennis Paoli. And this guy, he's somebody who is a co-writer on a ton of films, but the credits that he has here are astounding. Reanimator is his first screenplay, co-written, of course, with Stuart right. Gordon. You got From Beyond, uh, Ghoulies 2. You've got... Also Empire Pictures. Right. Yeah. Spellcaster, of course. Uh, the Pit and the Pendulum. Full Moon. Um, yeah. You've got uh, Body Snatchers, 1993. That's huge huge love that movie uh castle freak yeah you know and then then you've got like the dentist the dentist two day you know so uh yeah i mean just really and he did a couple of episodes of masters of horror as well um so yeah and i was just like you know looking at that stuff you can see kind of why the dialogue sticks as well as it does in sure this, yeah you know? absolutely um, yeah so do we want to kind of go through a little bit of the plot well, I got up to the point that the uh, these people from different walks of life won this uh, contest through this VJ to go to a castle and spend the night searching within the castle for a check for $1 million. Right. Right. So kind of your house on Haunted Hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, not that, you know, survive the night, but just kind of roam the castle looking for this check. The check for one million dollars has been hidden and hidden well, but not in a place that would necessitate any digging or any tearing. In other words, 
There's to be no damage to any of the property here. But we can look anywhere. Yes? Yes, anywhere. Except outside of the castle. You're free to leave the castle at any time. But if you do, you will be disqualified. It's hosted by Mr. Diablo. The, not, not Diablo. No, Di- um, Di- Diablica or something like that? Yeah, it's something w- like Diablis that. or yeah. something? Saint yeah, something. Something. Right. Who's a mysterious figure that we don't see until the very end. Well, we see the hands. Right. Yeah. On the uh But we know who, Buzzy. We, who it is because he's credited right up front. Right. In the yeah. Movie, yeah, absolutely. Which is though those are not his hands. Adamant. Adamant. It, it wasn't his hands. Hence yeah. oh, coming yeah. back they around. Were, they were very, you know, yeah. Like, There's no way. Know, yeah, they, and, they brought in Adamant for like the end of the movie, which is fine. I was like, Yeah, there's no way that's that's actually Adamant's yeah. hands. Um but yeah, I like how you have all these different archetypes. Um, you know, you've got people from different countries. Um, I guess our main character is a, a brother and sister that are you know working in a a restaurant i think there's yeah, like our washing main dishes. antagonists yeah. yeah 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 exactly our protagonists yeah yeah is that we're talking about the brother and the sister oh yeah yeah, yeah sorry yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um but yeah and so you know they're they they kind of in the beginning movie win the contest but then you've got the uh the kind of like california blonde kind right. of right um you've got the uh like the the gorgeous sultry uh french girl i mean they're all gorgeous honestly there's like nobody not gorgeous oh in yeah this movie. everybody's pretty in this yeah. movie huh? even, even, <laughs> yeah. even the pig boy yeah the yeah. character that's supposed to be the fat repellent right. character yeah. is nowhere near as fat yeah. repellent as yeah, yeah. he really should be absolutely for that role yeah so and then you have the uh the the kind of erudite uh british woman who's uh like a hunter yes. you know um trophy hunter yeah trophy hunter type um you know kind of aristocratic uh you've got the like the again like the the guy like the of the 80s you know guy fat guy likes food but he's again he's not even that really that fat <laughs> um you know you've got the italian guy who's like you know kind of like playboy type but also right. like scumbag um mm-hmm. kind of, uh flirts it, with every girl in yeah, the house. yeah yeah absolutely um i think those are the people th- those are all the people who are in the contest right um and then you've got the um of course the vj's there and then the celebrity who's i guess there to kind of help I don't promote, know, promote yeah. it, host it. Um, who's like a and and she is uh, played by who is? Uh, do you remember her name? I'll look it up right now. The Aha Girl. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she is uh, Betty. I knew it was Betty. I'm uh, oh, sorry, Bunty Bailey is her name. So um, you would definitely recognize her from one of the most well known videos ever, which is the Aha Take on Me mm-hmm. video. Um, and hasn't done a ton of movies, but I thought she was great. She was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, never really felt that, you know, again, she was like, oh, this is somebody who's not an actor who's in this movie. Really, really good. The reveal of Adam Ant was a little bit of kind of a dull thing. I agree. I mean, not to just jump completely sure. to the end, but sure. um, if we're talking about characters and, yeah. and as far as like presence goes, he just, I don't know if they're just banking on that. I mean, he is a, a very recognizable person. Yeah um and definitely does have you know that kind of smolder look to Mm -hmm. him uh but it just kind of like oh uh, here he is i agree they and strangely not really made up yeah right i mean for for somebody who has that visual style of adamant like i i was really expecting a david bowie and labyrinth sort of reveal totally very flamboyant very Uh, out there especially when you consider how stylized everybody all the guests at the place really well and the lighting and just you know there's a lot of like these green smoke and different like you know the set pieces were just very you know big and and crazy and interesting and then there's just a guy in a black and white suit maybe he was trying to shake that part of his image at the time that's what i'm wondering it is the late 80s Kiss took off their makeup. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe now it's time now, for now. you to take off yours. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, I don't know. He just could have. I mean, he could have done more. You know, scene chewing. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think he was. He was fine. Um, yeah. No, the, he was the, fine. The yeah. issues that I I have with his portion of the film, I do put on the script. 
and the director. Um, I don't feel they were necessarily his fault. Sure, he could have been more flamboyant and over the top, um, but I definitely think he was fine in what he was probably asked to do. Sure, um, sure. I think if they would have asked him to be more flamboyant, he would have been happy to do it. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel that just that whole end, just the way everything kind of works out. I just, I was, it was really muddled, right? It didn't, I mean, did, what was I the only one who was like a little bit lost by the whole idea of like, why is she shooting the crystal ball? And then like, you know, the, 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 the singer character comes out and yes. she's like, I made this other deal with him. And like then when, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, when did you do Off that? screen? Like, yeah. Okay. So, and I think that's maybe a point where that one hour and 23 minute runtime runs against it a bit mm -hmm. is that maybe we could have used a little bit more explanation. Uh, I, I definitely think they were going for some kind of a morality thing, obviously. Right. It was, but that part yeah, didn't make sense to me either. You know, and, and then part of the Faustian sort of, sure. you know, make a deal with the devil. But it's not a Faustian deal if it's like you're in a contest to look for a check for a million dollars and you're not an asshole and then you take the check and then suddenly your soul is given to the devil. That's not really a Faustian deal, right? It, that's just, you know, that's it's just... A, it's dirt. a spell casting deal. Sure. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> why the why was this movie called Spellcaster? I mean, I do think there was spells cast. I, I think that... Well, we have to talk about the car. <laughs> but we, oh, we'll get to that. But we saw that's, no spells being cast. But I think that was cast. one... I mean... I yeah. wanted a Dumbala, damn it, <laughs> and there was no we, Dumbala. Well, to be we found. came really close. Yeah. Right, right. I don't know. Crystal and ball. I kind of feel like him with his hands over the crystal ball, and then the things happening in the film were him casting spells. Sure, yeah, they were just remote spells. Okay, what's oh gosh, uh, like Doctor Mordred? Have you seen that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another full moon. Yeah, that's oh, another yeah. full moon. That's. That's where you would, if it was called Spellcaster, I would get right, it. Right, right. It wasn't, I mean, other than having the crystal ball and, you know, you see the hands going over yeah. and, you know, he's this voyeuristic sort of stuff and, 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 uh, casting different weirdness on different people or killing them in different ways. Um, if it's called Spellcaster, I want to see the person who's the Spellcaster. Sure, totally. You kind of put it in this, in this, in the fantastical, right? So then it should be like you know how it is with Doctor Mordred is you just give them enough, but you you know you kind of put them, you know, in a position that they are a little more front and center. Yeah. And I get it because I think that the things that happen in this, it almost seems like the castle itself, right, is like this magical sentient demon castle that's inhabited with you know crazy enchanted items and it doesn't seem as much like he is a spell caster right i get that i don't think See, it's and dr a, mordred's yeah. like that too where there's yeah. a lot of stuff that's sitting around that is enchanted items you know yeah. that he's either collected and there's some of that in this with <laughs> the uh, with the statues the and the armor and the chair things like the paintings and everything like that too yeah. um for so those I mean, who don't know dr me. mordred uh it was pretty much Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange the yeah. '70s style Doctor Strange specifically, which was very magic orient, black magic oriented. Right. Highly recommended. Yeah, I, I think I remember too. seeing that cover in the video store. Oh, for and sure, it you was did. like a wizard looking guy, mm -hmm. like, like Jeffrey yeah. Combs. Oh, cool. Yeah, as Doctor Mordred. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check this Add movie that to out. Your watch yeah, list. I'm definitely adding <laughs> it to it. Yeah, done, <laughs> done, and done. A sorcerer is not a god. Dr. Mordred, master of the unknown. Let's just, yeah, let's talk about the car scene, <laughs> which to me <laughs> sold me on this movie. Oh, hell and yeah. And I wanted to stop the movie because right. I knew nothing would top it. I mean, to be fair, Some we things, were already sold. Right, yes. Yeah. But I mean, that just is like the cherry on top times like a million because yeah. there's nothing in film right now that you can compare it to. That I'd be like, yeah, that's I've seen something like that before. I've not right. seen anything like a hard cut. Yeah, the way that it did. The timing was impeccable. In just in in this whole, 
in the in the comedy of threes and it wasn't really all that comical until it did what it yeah. did yeah. in the most brilliant way yeah and i don't know if that was like an editing decision i don't know if that was a director's decision i don't think it was a writing decision i don't know what the decision was but God bless whoever but made Jesus that. Jesus Christ, that's like one of the greatest scenes it was ever. Great. I mean, to be fair, in I, film, I would say it had to have been a writing decision. I mean, that scene was probably in the movie that what happens. But I think the reason it's so the good timing. is in the edit. It's it's the delivery of that. Yeah. I mean, so the the impact is is fantastic. the setup yeah. and the yeah. delivery. I mean, really, we should just you know, I'm show sure you're it, probably just going to show it, that right? entire I don't know. Scene. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because you can find this movie. Yeah. And it's worth it just for that scene. You're right. But at the don't same time. Don't even want to ruin it. Yeah. But that, that'll, I mean, it'll sell it. It'll sell people on watching this movie. And this movie has so much more to offer than just yeah. that one scene. Right. That's, um, that's, but, but, that's bar none the best right. scene of the movie, but oh, that yeah. is not mean that the rest of the, right. uh, uh, I don't know, money shots in there are any less worthy yeah. of it even yeah. if that car scene wasn't in there it's still it's still satisfying this in this movie and surprising would be very satisfying without that car scene mm -hmm. but my god that car scene throws it over the top oh yeah definitely way over the top we should definitely be there probably took a wrong road or something there is only one road and where's the castle i don't know you don't know Car just died. Why? I don't know. You don't know. We're on some honky chase after an HD camera stuck in the middle of nowhere in a dead car, and you don't know. Let me take a look under the hood. The door's stuck. Okay. Wait a minute, my door's stuck too. We are lost in the middle of nowhere. We can't find the castle, and the car won't start. What else could possibly go wrong? Uh, I also loved the 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 chair cherry, you know, and cherry uh, <laughs> uh, cherry's revenge. <laughs> it's cherry's angrier yeah. older brother. Really good piece of practical effects, you know. Really good. All the all the effects are solid. Yeah, all yep. all of them. But there's a lot of puppetry. There's a lot of makeup uh, masks. The good the good eighties era. Of a couple optical stuff. effects in there too. Yeah. Well, those An electric snake. Impressive. Yeah, that electric snake was cool looking, for sure. That neon. And electric I think they snake. worked well with the um, with the lighting. I mean, it, they didn't have to keep doing the optical. They would just have like little flashy lights that knew it was in the corner or behind the dresser or something like that. Yeah. So, they did the best that they could with the budget that they had. Was it? What is this rated? I'm guessing R because they say the F word. It yeah. is R. Yeah, and there's there's it's a not, fair amount of blood a, in it's it. It's not a hard R though. No, no it's not. Definitely not. But I could definitely see with yeah with the cursing with the amount of blood, and with the I mean I don't know was there any actual nudity? No, no. Yeah, everything was covered up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Disappointing. Which I mean, in in a way, I kind of <laughs> liked that about the movie because it's like you know eighties movies, just whatever you're gonna get, you know, nudity a dime yeah, a dozen, yeah. it happens all the time. Um, but I kind of liked that this movie kept it a little more classy than that in a way um you know and it, it was like even though it was very sexual and they had just a lot of things like that like it kind of shied away from just leering and you know being that and, way and the uh seduction was played off as jokes in many cases right right there's it, a couple shower scenes totally and yeah. those shower scenes pay off really well they really do and yeah. not in the usual payoff way of a shower scene it's <laughs> the, like plot wise or, or at least character development yeah happens yeah. in shower scenes and i think that that's uh that's that was actually that scene that i wanted to look up the screenwriter because some of the dialogue that the that the california girl says when it's like the guy's like you know <laughs> like it's like the whole thing happens and she's like she's like but i just showered you know yeah. i was like that is so good yeah. and then and then when he's like all upset she's like i understand and that's a valid feeling and she's like it's just it's very clever <laughs> wait i i thought we were gonna what yeah. You know. Oh, sorry. I just took a shower. 
first stuff. Well, and she kept stringing a, a couple of the guys along yeah. and put them in those positions. And yeah. then it was revealed that, you know, she's seeing a, a therapist. And, right. You know, and that's what, and you know, she's spouting and, stuff that, you know, her the, therapist told her. Sure. Right. <laughs> you know, so, so I mean, that, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, and I, I was trying to wrap my brain around that. I was probably just as confused as the guys that are in the room who are just, you know, like going, oh my gosh, this, this chick is crazy type thing. But, uh, you know, I... And like I said, I don't know. Do do castles make people horny? Yeah, I mean, have you ever stayed in one? No. Yeah. Well, the answer is yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Is it the mold from the walls? Just you know. I mean, it's a castle. It's, it's, like, castle. it's like it's, it's like, like it's like it smells and... like Joshua, old money. Tell me how I can get a vacation to a castle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sell me on. This. I got you covered, man. I got you covered. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> um, yeah, it's some, some really good sequences there, and I, I like how it's just you know this movie wasn't um, uh, you know it wasn't shy about giving you its effects. It like had this thing about it. Where, I mean, if there was anything they were teasing, it was Adam Ant, you know, but but the monsters were just right there. And there would be a part where you'd have some really good, uh, you know, pra- practical effect monster attack, and it'd be another one three minutes later, yeah. uh, you know, and, and they were different, too. You know, you didn't have one creature other than the chair, which was kind of used twice. Um, you know, you didn't have them just reusing things. You had the uh, the armor. Which that was another great, great moment of timing. Yeah, that, was, that was a good reveal. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, you just you've got where you've got the this um, which you've got uh, Blade and he's fighting with this uh, this animated armor set right this uh a, this knight in armor and basically goes and attacks him <laughs> this is a hits him with a mace over it's a mace or it, i think is isn't a morning star morning, i think yeah, yeah uh, sorry to get all nerdy but uh, yeah actually <laughs> uh, but, but, it, but the thing was right. it, like the chain was only like yeah, six yeah, yeah, inches yeah. long yeah. so he's like yeah wee, 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 yeah wee. totally so so he he wills his morning star and like knocks the helmet off and of course there's nothing there and he's like he's like you know and it's like oh okay obviously it's not because it's an animated thing and then he like goes over and like looks in the neck hole and then suddenly like this monster jumps out i was like that's so good you know you've already got this animated yeah. thing and now you just got this demon monster which, which looked like it. the yeah it looked like the the space herpy from ice pirates right yeah jumping right. out because yeah. any other movie either without the head right it would still animate. exactly right that's or, what i was expecting or, or it would just stop like you yep. defeated this and now maybe like another one of the things would come to life because yeah. there's other suits of armor yeah. in there this went for something totally. that you just don't expect. Nope. It, it to reminded go to. me of of Sam Raimi. You know, oh, yeah. it, it was very much like something you would see in an Evil Dead. <laughs> Someone consciously made the effort to say to to figure out what's everybody's expectations and go against it. Yeah, and absolutely. That's, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, we should look at the 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 director of this. Um, I'm I am actually a little curious because I think there's some really good stuff here. Um, in terms of again his a fine polish man yeah a fine polish man (laughs) is is that another movie or is he talking about the that's the director yeah because i mean i i don't know you guys know a lot more about these movies i've not oh no i don't know it's just because you know he has the the ski at the end and i have the ski at the end yeah i literally Uh, haven't heard of any of these movies Zelensky. other than um national lampoon's last resort in 94 but that was you know a while past um but yeah so he done he did screwballs okay which i've heard of that one yeah. um Sex and, and screwballs too uh valet girls in 1987 State. not valet girl but yeah. valet girls yes plural or is it valet valet girls like car not yeah, valley like, like yeah, yeah. Cars. valet wow. yeah um state park screwball hotel maybe that's a sequel to screwballs maybe or just capitalizing that yeah name. and then night of the warrior in 1991 jailbait 1993 you know downhill so yeah exactly and he's the guy definitely never seems like he broke through at all right uh but this is a gem you know he and, and i don't know like it makes me want to watch those other movies because who knows it could this could be uh, lightning in a bottle and that definitely happens right it's like this could be the only good movie this guy did could be about the screenwriter comparing it to screwballs which is the only movie that i've seen on that list yes it's, this is 
definitely a step up in the writing department from <laughs> yes. Screwballs. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. So, there's Sean's review. So. Spellcaster, <laughs> significantly better than Screwballs. A plus. Bing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, it was really good. Really good. I mean, again, just a quick watch hour and 23 minutes, like definitely something to uh, check out for sure. I feel yep. like genre films. And again, I'm surprised that I haven't seen more on this. I did a quick like YouTube search to see if like I have other people kind of covered this and there's a couple, but really not much. It seems to be like one that's flew pretty far under the radar. And again, you guys have heard of freaking everything. So if it's if it's something that was off your guys's radar, the more that I do this and the more that I dive into other things, there's a lot of things that I have not seen or even heard of or look, there's past. so many movies are made all the time and yeah, even more so now. But the 80s were no no different. No, nope. I mean lots of in the era of stuff being able to be made for television, stuff being able to be made for the video market. Yeah, there's a lot that got by us. I mean, also back in the the eighties, you had stuff that only had regional availability. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's that too that now become come to light as right. cult classics later on. Definitely. And this was one of those where we were watching it without feeling like we had to comment on it as we were watching. Oh, it. totally. Right. Well, we were engaged. Or absolutely. Except about how awesome it was right. and how much we were enjoying ourselves. Yeah. yeah. And it's a cast of mostly unknowns. Totally. And I and I want to see like everything else they ever did. There's no extras shaming it's in a, this. It's a yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, there's not a lot of extras. I mean, everybody's kind of it's a, it's an ensemble film for the most part. Special shout out to fake fake uh <laughs> Fake accents? Fake sh- no, oh. fake Andrew Shue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Oh, the, Tom. Right. Well, Tom, the, the lead actor in this movie, the lead protagonist, is exactly playing Andrew <laughs> Shue from Melrose Place. <laughs> he looks like him. He's got the mannerisms right. down 100%. Right. Like uh, it, it's, it's almost like this could have been a dream episode of Melrose <laughs> Place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would immediately that elevate Melrose Place. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think there's much more that we could say about this. No, honestly, no. just watch this fucking movie. I mean, it's movie. just good. Just, just yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, watch it. Yeah. Amazon Prime, th- look it up. Steal your friend's account. Yeah. Do something. Oh, my goodness. They have, yeah. uh, like, free trials or whatever. So if you don't have Amazon Prime, is this where the camera my yeah. Camera one. Get, <laughs> get it. And then cancel it if you have to. Seriously, worth it. Yeah. Work the system. Yeah. It's designed to be worked. Or just buy this movie. And if you have Amazon Prime... I mean, buy Prime, this movie. If you have Amazon Prime, you can share that account with up to five people. Legitly. Are you serious? Yes. Like, I mean, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> to know you that. Can, you, can, you, can, you, you have to actually set them up. Yeah. But you can set them up as users of your account. Oh, I'm doing it. So don't be that person that doesn't share right yeah your benefits or do you want to share amazon Prime? or work that out <laughs> because <laughs> i share it with three other people right and we oh, okay. split the cost everybody yeah, pays me their say. cut yeah yeah and well now the there, goes our, yeah, there goes our there yeah there goes our sponsorship to amazon prime <laughs> <laughs> right yeah i fully do not endorse the sharing <laughs> Yeah. of Amazon Prime. Yeah, like fucking Amazon's going to sponsor Go. us. Um, <laughs> like Amazon, not anymore. Amazon needs the sponsorship. <laughs> I was just on the phone with Mr. Amazon. <laughs> Bob Amazon. I like how it's like, it's like literally everybody knows who the head of Amazon is and it's Bob Amazon. <laughs> Bob Amazon. <laughs> yeah, Bob Amazon. Sorry, dude. You know, we screwed it up, man. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, a check written to <laughs> for one million dollars. One million dollars. And he had it in his hands. And then and like, like a piece of twine. Pulled it, <laughs> pulled it up. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Right into the fireplace. It's good. Hey, you know, it's been a hard week. Um I know you've got a, a hard week coming up. Uh so this was the universe's little gift to us to reward us for yes. our hard work. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll promote a couple things. So starting next weekend, I am showing the 35 millimeter uh, presentation of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the yes. newest uh, Quentin Tarantino joint, Cannot if you will. wait. Uh, it is only one of 55 theaters in the world showing it on 35 millimeter. It is the only 
uh, theater in Arizona, showing it on 35 millimeter. It is myself as the uh, projection and presentation manager of Alamo, uh, Kyle Tolbert from Chandler, who I've been training up, and uh, Kyle Simmons uh, at Tempe, who works in the kitchen, who has a lot of experience with 35, and he's awesome as well. So we're going to knock it out of the park. It's a full run every day. Yeah. All day long. I'll be there opening night. Working that 35. And then there's cultfollowing.co. Yeah. Which is Check our, it out. I think they're up to three network, episodes so. on Horror Cult now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Obviously, we're on YouTube a little later. We've got the podcast mm-hmm. audio version coming out. Uh, but yeah, if you if you go to cultfollowing.co or just subscribe to Cult Following on uh, YouTube uh, and also on Apple Podcasts. We're currently on Spotify now, too, um, which, yep. uh, yeah, that's a new addition. So, so good. Yeah. So good to be on Spotify. Huge. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin that sponsorship. Yeah. Spotify. Pay for it. Don't share it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I was talking to Gary Spotify the other day. You can't um, share Spotify, by the way. They're, <laughs> they make it, like, impossible, dude. It's literally impossible Gary, to share Spotify. I've tried. Gary Spotify is, is on it with <laughs> right. encryptions. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Yeah.